Think of a mixer as a group of individual, mostly identical channel strips with the addition of a master section. Starting with the gain down, while the vocal or instrument is checking at their loudest performance volume, slowly raise the gain control until the signal shows a maximum of 0 dB on the mixer's meters. It's called a high-pass filter because all frequencies above that point in this case, 100 Hz, can pass through unaffected. The top knob on this mixer's mid-range control allows you to sweep through the frequencies and find the one you wish to either cut or boost. The other knob allows you to either cut or boost that chosen frequency. Connect the effects send jack to the input of the external device. Then connect the outputs of the external device to the effects return jacks on the mixer. When the feedback stops, slowly raise the band back up, but not enough for the feedback to return. But you can cut back the mid-range control, then sweep through the frequencies with the second mid-range control until you find the offending frequency. For example, you could assign all drum mics to group one and all vocal mics to group two. When you adjust group 1, all of the drum mics would go up and down together. You set the limiter's threshold for the maximum signal level you wish to allow, and it will keep the signal within that dynamic range. Now, let's bring up the vocal mic faders to a good performance level and listen for any problems.